Okay, so we're down here in the basement, uh, Pema Ola, and we have a couple of, of uh, experiments going on. So Enrique, tell us about them. Yes, down here we have two anthroponic experiments right now. This one is an anthroponic NFT system, and this one is a continuous flow media bed system. I will start with the NFT. Follow me over here. The idea of this system is to simulate if we can have the filter component treating the urine and then run it through a normal hydroponics NFT. Right now we're growing Pak Choi, which is doing well. Um, the system is set up in a way that there is always a constant level of water. But the most important part is actually the filter down here. We have an air pump that is pumping water continuously to this uh, jerry can. The jerry can is filled with plastic media carriers. These are little plastic pieces that hold bacteria. The bacteria is mixed with the air that we pump in. At the same time, there is a smaller tube that through an airlift system pumps water all the way to the beginning of the NFT system. The system has been running with about 200 milliliters of urine per day, plus 100 milliliters of vermicompost leachate, that is the liquid produced after the worms compost waste. Uh, so it's been going fine so far, and we're looking forward to tasting the pak choy once it's grown. Here we are running a system to actually test differences in the recipe that we are developing. Uh, we have three systems here growing cucumber plants. In each system there is one cucumber plant. It looks a bit jungly but there's only one plant per system. In this system over here we add only urine about 165 milliliters per week and this is constantly running. On the middle system we add the same amount of urine but also 25 milliliters of vermicompost leachate. And on the third and final system, we add the same amount of urine and 50 milliliters of vermicompost leachate, which is double the amount of the middle one. The objective here is to see if vermicompost leachate is an adequate supplement to the nutrition of a cucumber plant. Cucumber plants being one of the most demanding plants in terms of nutrient requirements in anthroponics and hydroponics in general. We've had tests before with other cucumber plants. Uh, we've tried wood ash, we've tried just urine. We were not really getting the growth that we wanted. Right now it looks lush and green, but you can still see that in more or less all systems there's some discoloration happening in some parts of leaves in all systems, so we're not really sure we can conclude anything yet. Um, also, we have only been seeing growth of male flowers yet. We are still waiting for female flowers to show. And if they do show, and when they do show, we will be pollinizing them manually, so we can try and actually grow a cucumber and taste it, and see if it tastes any different from normal cucumbers. And uh, you're using clay pebbles here instead? Yes, we are using uh, LECA, as it's known, light expanded clay aggregates. Uh, so there's a constant level. You can see here the outflow and the inflow is here. And the system is set up so that the top part is the media bed where the plant is growing. And the bottom part is sort of working as a sump, a water reservoir. So it makes it easier to add water and keep the a constant water level for the plants. Super. So um, let's hope for a good result and uh, we'll check back with you later. Thank you. Thank you.